Hi, I'm Ruby Miranda, the Texas Queen of Real Estate. Today, we're going to talk about being a buyer in a multiple offer situation. So if you find yourself that you're fighting multiple offers on a house, here's how to win. Fighting multiple offers on a house can be a nightmare for buyers. It basically means that you found a ha you found your dream home and so has everyone else. <laughs> Unless you go to the mat and really play your cards right, this place can easily slip through your fingers. And that's why it's critical to put the best offer forward from the start. Here's a guide on how to stand out amid multiple offers to increase the odds that you'll end up on top and get the home that you really want. One more money it's that simple money talks the sale price isn't the only place where you can make a strong financial stance consider increasing the amount of money that you'll put in the escrow deposit or even on the option fee committing more money up front will show the sellers that you're serious about buying the property to buyers who might balk at the cost if you find out that you lost this home by one dollar how would that make you feel Another thing you can do is write a letter. Beyond the basic agreement of sales paperwork, include a letter explaining why you're so passionate about buying the home and why you fell in love with it. It can definitely help you stand out from the crowd. A quick bio about you and your family and what made you fall in love with the home in the first place, the neighborhood, or personal details might help build empathy or even find common ground with the seller. Letters are especially effective in situations where the sellers have an emotional connection to the property. For example, an elderly couple looking to downsize might be more inclined to choose a young couple who are looking to start a family. Keeping financing clean. When financing is concerned, buying a property with cash is always attractive to sellers if you can afford it. Since the mortgage lender won't have to get involved, the sales process becomes much easier and there won't be a worry about the loan won't get approved at the last minute. And that being said, cash certainly isn't an option for every buyer. If a mortgage is a must, make sure that you are able to provide a pre-approval because that's definitely going to help you stand out from the crowd so that you, so the sellers can know that a lender has already vetted your finances and know that you are a solid buyer. Providing either a pre-approval or proof of funds for a cash deal is a must. Whether you're planning to take out a mortgage or pay all cash, you can stand out from all other offers if you show that you're a serious buyer by providing the proof of funds or proof of pre-approval. Buying a home as is. This is a big one because agreeing to buy a home as is essentially means that you're agreeing to purchase the home in its current condition, releasing the sellers from the responsibility of making any repairs. It's a very attractive option. It's a very attractive option from the seller's point of view because it increases their net profit. Keep in mind that buying a home as is doesn't mean that you have to forego inspections entirely. It simply means that we'll be moving up for we'll be looking at the inspection for informational purposes only. You'd be entitled to elect to any inspections as you wish. You can still walk away from the property during your option period. However, regardless of what the reports show, any repairs would be your responsibility. And that's always a plus to the sellers. Have your agent make a call. Your real estate agent's job is to make sure that your interests are communicated effectively to the seller throughout the whole negotiation process. In a scenario where you're competing against multiple offers, having, agent, having an agent makes two calls, one before submitting the offer to ask what the seller would like to see, and the other after the fact to reiterate your interest. Agents can also be asked to be informed if the property goes back on the market after the deal falls through, if the house you want gets, uh, gets under contract with someone else. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. If you would like to ask any questions about multiple offers, feel free to reach out to me. My information is down below. Thanks. Have a great day.